Hi, I'm Venus O'Hara and welcome to a new video. I make content about holistic self-love and if you would like to get a copy, <clears throat> a download of my life upgrade meditation, check out the link in, in the description below. So today's video, I wanted to make this video about what to do if you're not happy in your relationship. Well, there are many things you could do if you're not happy in your relationship, but there's one particular thing I would like to recommend to you, something that I did and something that um, I shared with some divorced women the other day. Um, anyway, so um, I wanted to share this video because today is a kind of, is quite a special day for me. It's my Barcelona anniversary. I arrived on a night train from Madrid on the 15th of May, which is the day I'm recording this video, many moons ago. I had two backpacks, only 400 euros in the bank, but so much hope um, to start a new life. I left a relationship in Madrid and I left my job without giving any notice, which meant I didn't get paid. I left my friends and it was a kind of a, a very empowering um, decision for me to make because I spent so much time complaining about my life in Madrid. And if any of you who've lived in different places, when you're in a place, it might, you might know this, but if, if you were living in a place where you're not happy, it feels like everything that's going on in, in your life is the fault of the place you're in. And that's how it was for me. And it also is this feeling of impotence because you've already created these social circles and you can't just get up and leave. It seems quite hard because it's not easy to just get up and leave in life. Anyway, the one thing I, I recommend to you if you are unhappy or in any situation in your life is to actually write down how you are feeling. You could make a document in your computer or even have a notebook. And in that document, I'd recommend writing the date, very important, how you're feeling and what the issues are. This is what I did. And I used to always keep diaries actually when I was younger. And I remember I'd kept this diary, written in shorthand, of course. You've got to remember that you don't want people finding it. Sometimes for me, I speak four languages, so I kind of mix up all the languages that I speak when I write my private thoughts in, in, a, in a book because I think if someone finds this, I'm going to be like super exposed. But anyway, I um, I had was just cleaning up one day and I found this diary. I was flicking through the pages, started to read it, feeling very nostalgic. And I realized that the things that I was complaining about at that time, I'd been complaining about for a year um, in about my relationship and things were just not getting better. And that was my moment. It was a moment of, oh my God, I need to leave this place because I was in a place where the best thing about it was the relationship I was in. And it seemed very clear at that moment that there was no evolution in that relationship. So it was time to leave. I was always thinking about Barcelona. I remember I was a, an English teacher and I, whenever I was in, you know, on a motorway, I used to see these signs for Barcelona, the word Barcelona would just pop out and call me wherever I saw it. And I just visited Barcelona several times. And um, whenever I came here, I, I felt like um, I didn't need my relationship. I just felt stronger. I didn't really miss the person I was with that much. And that just sounds really bad because he's a great guy. Um, but um, it just felt like um, and I just felt like super powerful in Barcelona and, and this was the place to be. It was like magnetic draw, but it wasn't easy just to kind of get up and leave, especially when for the most part, I was kind of happy in that relationship. But then when I realized that there was no evolution and this, this situation had been going on for such a long time, I had a now or never moment and I thought I'm packing my bags and I'm going. And it just took me, a, um, it was a decision that I made over just a few days, basically, and I took a night train from, um, yeah, from Madrid to Barcelona. And when I was leaving, I was crying my eyes out. And um, and I said goodbye to my to my then partner. And when I went into, it was actually a night train. So when I got into the actual cabins, I was like, oh. And the women there were like, yeah, you can come back. And I was thinking, I'm not coming back here. And the train started to kind of move, left the station. And suddenly I started to feel more hope. The next morning when I woke up, I did feel a little bit lonely thinking, who's going to hug me now? But since I stepped out of the, um, I don't know what you call them actually in English, but the cabin or what have you, then I saw these beaches with palm trees and I thought, wow, I've made the right decision. Also, I wanted to share this video today, video today because um, I was with some divorced women the other day 
And they were saying they had a similar experience in that they had left their marriages after complaining about the same thing over and over and over and then noticing that it wasn't getting better. I think this is really important that when when your partner complains about something to check in with them and make sure that thing is improving because no one just um, well in general you know when people decide to leave relationships it's not it's not a kind of sudden decision it's it's something that's been um, deteriorating over time and I think it's really important to um, to take that into consideration because when you're not growing you're dying so it's really important to uh, to listen to those complaints that people make and um, try and check in with them and see if things are improving so I would really recommend that and for whatever situation you're in in your life just make a note, write the date and how you feel and check in with it from time to time just to kind of see if that thing is improving. And if it isn't, it might be time to take action. So what about you? Do you have any thoughts on this? Do you have any advice about how to improve situations which don't seem to have much hope or anything about how to make yourself happier in a relationship or whatever situation, please leave a comment below. And if you'd like to check out my life upgrade meditation, which um, is a recording of 16 minutes with 100 powerful affirmations that represent the 12 areas on the life wheel, check it out in the description below. It's a free meditation, something I'm very proud of, and um, a lot of people have been giving me some really good feedback. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll be back with some more frequent videos now, now that I'm back on track, and I hope to see you very soon. Thanks for watching.